Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here and we're back with another video. Um, we, we have a Janna gameplay. Um, as you can see, we're continuing the gameplays where we try out the new stuff. As you can see here, we already are, are seeing new stuff. I am using Font of Life because I wanted to test out this um, combo, the Imperial Mandate, which is the new oh. item. Oh, Discord. <laughs> and Font of Life. So let's see. I don't know why I didn't skip this VLC Media Player. I'm going to skip it. There we go. Okay, that is loud. The storm approaches. I need to lower that. Okay, so yes, this is um, a PvP match. For some reason, I can't get any rank matches. I can't get any legendary rank matches. Maybe because, like I said, I'm my region is not an AEU, you know, all that stuff. So it's kind of hard Breath to find matches me. in this region. So I'm playing a PvP match once again. And as you can see, we are rocking this. Uh, new support item again if you saw my Sona and Lux gameplays I am using that now that support item is mostly for range people and mages so. there is no spell thief here if you're familiar with PC but I'm gonna put up the the build like all my runes and mastery so I don't have to say it I mean I don't have to go deep into it I'll put the picture here now and as you can see, that's what I'm using right now. And also, if you've noticed in my last two videos that there was no intro, I don't edit those. The only reason why I take the gameplay out and, you know, that's it. Post the video on YouTube immediately. My OBS is set up in a way like it's easier to, you know, put the features on like this Janna banner in the bottom and then my VTuber model, etc. But I'll try my best to edit as much as I can now, especially since I'm doing something special, hopefully for Halloween. I don't know, but yeah. So obviously the maxing order of this is obviously your third skill, your second skill, and then your first skill. Nothing new, nothing change, okay? The goal that I wanted with this video is like, does it actually work? And we're also trying out the new Protector Enchant. Which I've tested on her ultimate as well, which we'll see later on. And it doesn't really give much ooh. As you can see me trying to gank. Which is weird. <clears throat> Upon the wind. So I have to try other champions with these new items. And some champions don't really fit in with the imperial mandate item so you're gonna see that but for janna i think it kind of works ish because you know her second skill kind of counts as the imperial passive and then her first skill as well you can see i took heal as my summoning spell and she got first blood as i should uh, and then the Jin started to ultimate oh you guys see how much healing, how much shielding my, with how much shielding I get with my protector enchant when I get that first, which I think I'm gonna get now because the first item I got was the boots with the support item. I mean with the support enchant because I really want to test it out. I don't know what I'm doing in this part. Oh, they dive me here. Yep. Another more champ. As you can see, I bought it immediately. Other champions that you will see gameplays of is, you know, Miss Nami. And then we're gonna see... Who else we're gonna see? Lulu. I'm curious about Lulu because she has a lot of slows. Imperial could work, but... I kind of like her more with... Uh, I kind of like her more with Ardent as her first item because... The support capabilities of getting... You know, the, the attack speed and on-hit stuff is nice. As you can see here, I did something. I tried to turn on my locket enchant. Do you guys see that? That Ash lived because I turned on my locket enchant. I think it worked. I didn't know. <laughs> because they said that for the next three seconds, your next spell will be empowered. 
Oh yeah. And um, I've noticed that a lot of people have slept on Quantum of Life, maybe because it's not their type of spell, because people like Airy. But considering Janna has a lot of utility, it means crowd control with her first skill, and then her second skill, plus Imperial, like I said, it's, I think it's not bad. Also, another thing I'm noticing with the Protector Enchant is the cooldown goes down very fast. And they never said anything about it. Or maybe I'm just reading stuff wrong. I don't know if you've seen... I mean, you, well, I didn't use... I didn't use a Protector Enchant on Lux. I'll probably make another video of Lux with that, but in a support focus build. But I was saying, like, whenever I get an assist after I use my Enchant, I get... The cooldown is reduced. I don't know if I'm reading something wrong. Or I they they typoed something, but I don't know where's it coming from. I keep reading it and double checking it, but I don't know. You'll see it. Hopefully, you'll you'll see it being used here. As you can see, my Janna is very aggro. I'm not scared. I tried to turn on the thing and I healed myself. I don't know if it was gonna kill for 68. Considering I have no items that give AP right at the moment, I didn't. Know, I think it. I think my healing did double because you see, if you see the earlier clip, it was healing for 46 or 48, and then now it heals for 64. So I don't know about her. Yeah, I'm still doing a lot of limit testing here. Hopefully, I can try it in a rank game. Also, another thing that I want to make a video on is Miss Gwendolina. Miss Gwen. But she's being picked a lot. The best chance I can get Gwen is in a uh, normal game. As you can see, I stole that with my tornado. And, you know, of course, you have to flaunt that master emote. Because I think everyone was mostly iron smurfs. Because, you know, new account. And... Which oh, we should I should we should which, uh, which I should do by the way I should do a unranked to uh challenger no unranked to master series on a new account and then we'll see what happens considering I reached master already maybe in season seven no, no. also I learned my lesson when it comes to rank you have to keep playing every day so you can be constantly with the same people because the matchmaking times in master and legendary rank especially i'm commander which is silver and legendary rank it's pretty long maybe it's the region i'm in but i think even in eu they take that long time but there's a lot of eu matches i've seen and na as well so could be just my my region itself so as you can see i um from the from the i forgot what what item is that that book um, I'm trying to get to finish my... Yeah, there it is. Imperial Mandate. Ching. And also, I gotta say, with the support item, you make a lot of money now. I mean, not a lot of money compared to before. But... You, get, you gain like an extra 20% gold. Because there's more of that tribute thing. As you can see, I'm trying to go aggro here. Set my tornado up. I tried to turn on that. I I think I failed that um, enchant right there. Because the heal the the shield amount is way huge than what I did there, so I kinda missed the opportunity. Um I I think I the first video I did with this new item so Sona, but I didn't really use the protector enchant that well. You really have to think ahead on when to press that button, you know? But considering you, whenever you get assist, the cooldown reduces so fast that you can redo it again. It's kind of scary. I'm really curious about doing this on Miss Soraka. Uh, you can see, okay, I'm, I'm really aggro here, guys. I don't know why with Janna, the squishiest champion support. I'm so aggro. For some reason, I paused there. And that Grom flashed. I'm still pumping up damage, and then he's here for the cleanup. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the cooldown reduce whenever I get an assist, but we're gonna keep on identifying it because I'm so confused. Swiftly. This is my third match of the new patch, and I'm so confused. See, 
Wasn't it like 20 seconds and then now it's suddenly 16, 15? Girl. I'm confused. Okay, we got our mandate. Now the thing with mandate is whenever you do you CC on someone, they kind of get like um, they, they, the person who attacks will do more damage. So I kind of like this item. As you can see also from the bottom, 397. On my my support item is going to turn into the last item. With ease. The last upgrade. But what's kind of what's kind of weird? What's weird is that you don't get wards in PC. Once that support item gets upgraded, you get the wards. But yeah, we're gonna try being aggro here. I immediately shielded the Ash, but I should have shielded the Katarina. But for some reason, Katarina does a lot of damage. And then I shield my Katarina. I think I tried to turn on my shield here. Let's see. I try to use my ult here to like heal everyone up for the next fight. Jan does a lot of healing, not gonna lie. I tried to turn on my enchant here right like right now and then I look at look how much healing that is. Not healing, shielding. You can really make people believe like you can go ballsy with it, you know? And if you're wondering if it doubles Janna's attack damage, I don't think it does. It just does the amount of shielding, didn't say the ability. And I already got the cooldown back up. It's kind of weird. And with this, I tried to be aggro. As you can see, I turned it on to... As you can see, look at how much shielding that Jan, uh, that Katarina got. You can really last a team fight here. So this is really good on Sona, which I need to keep retrying. But, you know. Also, um, Mantra E Karma would work on this. It's like you're, you have a barrier up. I'm sure people will pick that up later on and they're gonna nerf Karma's shield so that it coincides with the Protector Enchant. But then I realized we have Serpent's Fang which is a counter to shields. So an anti-shield and then an anti-heal. Pike be damned, you know, Pike needs to be more popular then. I still don't get that, he's not popular still. So aside from uh, the other supports like Lulu, Nami, I want to make videos on. I want to make videos on... Oh, I got my CDR up, as you can see that. I'm going to turn on my Enchan, I think. And then I'm going to E her. As you can see, look how much shielding is that. Build Serpent's Fang, y'all. Dang. And you can see it's already back to 10 seconds. Sometimes they feel like time passed, but it didn't. It's so weird. But yeah, aside from uh, the other supports and Gwen, I want to make a video on Kale. I made an old video before, but now the new patch came, so I have to update it. I didn't even e I didn't even edit it, so yeah. So after mandate, you're gonna get you know the usuals now. I don't know why buying ardent and staff of flowing is such a combo. It's such a combo, see? Or you can buy one with the other, and you know, if, if in this case, I would have bought just. Staff for my for my da for my damage for my AP and whoever I heal AP this will be good on Katarina and then you can the flex on your last item probably gonna get um, a life steal item for second last item but you know T um I tried oh look at that that Katarina. That Katarina lived longer than expected because I shielded her. And I got my thing back up. It went from 13 to 0. What? I still don't get this item. You can... You can pop off like 2 to 3 protector enchants with this. Imagine on Jan or Sorok. I mean not Jan. Sona and Soraka grow. All the one tricks on the leaderboard. Especially Chai, the number one Soraka. I wonder if she's used this yet. That's gonna be so crazy. And then they're gonna nerf Soraka. Oh my gosh, I am rambling about the future now. I have tried... I don't know if I've... I don't know if Janna's ultimate affects the Protector Enchant. I thought it did when I tried it. But I don't know. You can see there's a perfect tornado opportunity. Ugh. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Did you guys see that? That that um, reward thing. I shielded the Garen and look how much shielding he got. 
Okay, so I've noticed. So you guys saw 117 when I healed, right? So later on in the match, or at the end, I think, I healed for... I turned on Protector Enchant and did my ultimate. I healed for 240. A second. That's a lot of healing. You're really gonna have to be... You're really gonna have to be choosy on what you want to use. Like what spell you want to use to get the most efficiency out of it. And then use the next one when you get a lot of assist, etc, etc. Yeah, I kind of like this spell. It's like supports have more purpose rather than just stand and heal. It gives us more macro. That's the word. It gives us more macro. As you can see, Bane is here. I don't know why. And she pins me to the wall, girl. Anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're giving us more hard skill like they're giving us more purpose because it's getting a little boring we can be a little smarter about this when we play support now i've never heard that garen line before what whenever i get an assist look we're already back it's three to one it was 78 and then i blinked I don't know why I did that. I guess I was excited. Oh, I turned on my C. See, look how, look how much shielding is that. It made, it made Katarina look like a tank. Hopefully, Janna is a bit more picked now. Oh, by the way, well, you probably seen the patch video already. Oh, uh, wait, let me see the spite. I tried to turn on my ultimate here. But Jin got away with sniping. That's crazy. Um, I forgot what what I said. <laughs> okay, I'm trying my best here. Considering we have uh, dragon minions, we can go crazy, and then I'm gonna shield and chant my Rengar. As you can see here, boom. And he got the AT back as well. Look how look how much damage I, he ignored. That's crazy. And I got that kill. Yep. Just me flexing or whatever. I forgot what I was gonna say. I got so distracted by that fight. I I forgot. But yeah. I kind of miss playing ranked, but considering I haven't played to... what's the word? Considering I haven't been catching up playing every day like you know the rest of the people, I kind of fall off and then I can't find their match now. You know? Oh look at that Ash! Dang! She actually hit it right. And then Echo went to the back. I can't. I, I really, 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 really. Thank you. I love this enchant. As you can see, that's protected so much damage from Gragas. I'm so, I'm so, I'm, I'm so aggro here. And then, and then Jin got a little fun double. But we got Katarina for the cleanup, and I got an assist. So that means my thing reset it. But yeah, I'm thinking, considering I'm not getting any matches, I might go to a smurf account. I do have a smurf account. And it could be a good thing I can practice my Baron lane uh, tactics and hopefully do a unranked 2 master. If I can do it here, I'll do it again. But I do need to play ranked because of the rank decay. If there's rank decay in masters, so. I don't know how much they're gonna cut, but I hope it's not a lot. There was a lag there, oh my gosh. Also, the reason why I, like, I chose fun for this because I get more healing as well. And look at that. Shield. Slain. Slain. 
Also, did you guys buy the new battle pass? I haven't. I'm kind of curious about the skins that I might get when I get the lead pass. Nope. When is where is that where is that part where I try to use my ultimate to heal? Also, this Janus can look so different with the outlines on. So I let's see. I think I nope. I think I try to turn on my enchant here. So I'm healing 240, 240, 215 like that. Did a lot. And that was the match. It was a fun match actually. I really should get to make a new account so I can smurf. Okay, that was fun, ain't it? I hope you guys like it, even though it was crazy. Of course, I was the MVP, like a shadow, meaning... I think I'll, I'll show you guys the meaning. Like a shadow is when you get 8 assists without dying. I think like shooting fish in a barrel is where you CC champion three times. Use a single ability crowd control to your more champions. Yeah, that. But yeah, I, that was the... Let me see if I show other stats. Yeah, this was my stats here. Did a lot of assists. And I almost did the most tank. Is that tanking? It, okay, I did more than the Rengar though. Dang. Oh, that's that. Go back to normal. Okay. That's the video. I hope you guys learned something. As you can see, here's my build. The support item, Imperial, Ardent, and Staff. And then the boots is Lucidity, Cooldown, and the Protector Enchant with the last item being Morello. I hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah, this is still a learning journey. So more videos on champions that I haven't posted yet coming. Um, I want to try Ash support and stuff, but I don't think it's going to work. Because I feel like they nerfed it here on Wild Rift. But yeah, make sure you guys like this video. Dislike it if you didn't. Make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell for whenever I upload a new video. I do gameplays like this. Non-gameplays like reactions and skin reviews. Whatever. I'm also planning to do something different that's not related to this game. Probably as like a way of branching out and trying out new things. I have a Discord if you want to join. Um, I'm mostly doing <laughs> I'm mostly doing the talking. And no one's replying because I guess they're busy with, you know, personal life and stuff. But at least they read it and then they still reply to it. I also have a coffee where you can tip me and donate to me a small amount. Um, it's like a one-time thing. You can do it multiple times if you want. By doing that, you're helping me and the channel out. If you do that, I'll be greatly appreciated from you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.